is it a good product? No. <laughs> they're not that cute and they're just actually quite ugly. Yeah, this was a big mistake. Hi guys, welcome back to all I know about Depop and happy 2024. I am starting the year by doing a big clear out of my stock. In this video, I'm gonna share 10 items that have not been a hit on my shop and I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I think that's the case with each item and also share how I get rid of these items while still making a little bit of money from them. So my stock is actually stored in two places. We have most of it in the attic and then we have some of the smaller stuff in the office. In the attic, most things are in plastic tubs that are numbered one, two, three, four, five, etc. We also have some rails in there as well for larger items. And that's how we organize it all. So when we ship, we can find things really easily based on what box they're in. What I've been doing this month is going through each box and picking out things that we've had for ages and that haven't sold, putting these to one side to get rid of and then condensing all the boxes so we make more space in the attic and in the office. Okay so let me share with you some of my discoveries of items that we need to get rid of. So first up we've got these suede bomber jackets. I bought loads of these last year. I got them in a discounted bale from a vintage wholesaler and they were super cheap. So I, I think I might have even bought two 45 kilos worth or something ridiculous. They're actually not that heavy, so there was a lot inside of them. I've sold a lot of leather jackets on the shop, but not suede and I would assume it would be like similar that they would just be as popular, but no, I don't think so. I think suede isn't as in demand as like proper leather. So I basically ended up with way too many of these. Some of them have got to go. Probably gonna sell these on Vinted for cheap, probably list them between like 10 and five pound. And I found with Vinted if you list them cheap, they go quite quickly. Black leather bomber jackets are actually the, like the most popular leather jacket at the minute. But for some reason, the bomber suede jacket in brown or black, it's not been a good seller. See you later. Next up, we have these ginormous hoop earrings. These are the earrings, they're pretty big. I got these in a massive job lot of dead stock Topshop jewelry. Most of it has done really well. We sell a little bit by little bit every week and yeah, I'm well into a profit on the whole earring bundle, but these ones have not gone down very well. I reckon we've sold like two of these. And we've probably got about 20. So why do I think these haven't sold? I think, oh shit. So why do I think these haven't sold? I think they're just too big. The other ones that I have are like small, dainty, like everyday jewelry. I don't think there's many people that would wear hoops this big. So these have not been a hit, but they are really fun. I'm not sure I have a big enough personality to wear these. I would say the best place to make the most money off a bundle like this is eBay. The problem I find with eBay is that it can take a while for stuff to sell. So it depends whether I can be bothered to list it on eBay and wait like six months or if I just want it gone. If I just want it gone, I'll probably put it in the car boot pile for when we do a car boot when it gets a bit warmer. And then everything that doesn't sell at the car boot, I just take to a charity shop. So these will live on. Eventually someone will own every pair of these, but Unfortunately, not through my shop. <laughs> Next up, we have these halter tops. <laughs> this is actually only about half of how many I have of these. They look like this, they're actually really cute. I brought a palette of these about two years ago. So we started with like a box that was like, we sold a lot of them in the first year that I got them, but sales over the past few years have just slowed down. I think I bought a little bit too many than what I could really sell. The white one actually sold the best out of white, blue and red. We've only got like two of them left. I got these really cheap, so I've already made profit off them. And with how many we're selling a year at the minute, it's just not worth having them. I've decided we're gonna get rid of these. eBay is probably the best bet for these if I wanted to make the most money off them. Again, with eBay, you do tend to wait around a little bit for stuff to sell and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm either gonna car boot these or I'll take them to a cash for clothes and get a little bit of money for how much they weigh. The next item is this huge box of mini skirts. Oh. So this is another fail for the shop. 
I just bought so many of these, it's really embarrassing. Again, this is another dead stock item. I'll open it up. I bought a job lot of these mini skirts. I got them super cheap. I think I bought like 150 and I'm sure I paid like 30p per skirt or something like cheap, really cheap. But is it a good product? No. <laughs> I've had these for maybe like two years or a year and a half. Have we sold one of these? We might have sold one or two, but <laughs> that's it. And I brought 150 of them. I think what has gone wrong with these is that they have this stripe here, which is very 2015. It's maybe a little bit not so cool anymore. And the quality is just, it's, you know, it's like fast fashion quality and it's not by a brand people recognize. I just got this one wrong, I think. I just paid for these to sit around for a year in my house, so. These were a fail. Best place to get the most money out of these is probably on a bundle on eBay. Another shout is Facebook Marketplace because it's such a big item and it would be quite annoying to ship. Facebook Marketplace might be a good shout because people come to you. I've had these on Facebook Marketplace before and had no interest. I cannot be bothered to put them on eBay and wait a while for them to sell. So these will either, some will get sold at car boots some will go to cash for clothes and I'll just, you know, just get rid of them basically. Number five, I have these branded joggers. I bought them from a vintage wholesaler last winter. I think I bought 20 of them and we've sold maybe a handful. We maybe sold five. Oddly, these are, you know, your standard like Depop resell joggers. I think what has gone wrong with these is that I am not great at taking photos of trousers. I think it's quite hard to do especially if you're using a mirror setup so my photos for all these were a bit crap to be honest i'm not sure about these just have not had any luck with them i am gonna sell these on vintage for maybe like five to ten pounds and i think they should go pretty quick on vintage so yeah that's what i'm, what I'm gonna do with these another item that has been a flop is again another <laughs> dead stock item that i brought a lot of it's these bags I brought a lot of these as well and I, sh I shouldn't have. I thought these were gonna be like, like, oh, that bag is so ugly, it's cute sort of vibe. But then everyone I've shown these bags to just think they're really ugly. So maybe they're not that cute and they're just actually quite ugly. I think that's maybe why they haven't sold. It's just a shame because, again, I think I brought about 90 of these. How many did we sell? I think we sold about five. <laughs> eBay is a good shout, but I probably don't want to wait around for eBay, so I will either try in Facebook Marketplace or I will put them in the car boot pile. Okay, next up we have these vintage blazers. This is another one I've got. These did okay. I bought a job lot of about 30. I think in the past year we've sold maybe half of them, but the problem I have found with these is that most of them are a little bit too oversized to be the right oversize for women like trendy oversized jackets there's a point where it's too oversized like it just looks ridiculous and a lot of these were a bit too big to sell as like an oversized trendy blazer obviously i just got these in a wholesale bundle so i didn't pick them all out individually so i think the only way you could combat that is if you handpicked yourself so yeah i wouldn't buy these from a wholesaler again i would only do it if i could handpick and i probably just by the rate of how they sold i probably wouldn't buy them again to be honest i think these just are not that much of a desirable item on depop gonna sell these on vintage should probably get between 10 to 5 pounds for each one and then yeah they can be on their merry way so next is another jewelry bundle. This one was a bit of a fail and if I'd have thought about this a bit more I would have known that it wouldn't do well but guess what it was really, it was really cheap and I saw the potential and I thought I'm just gonna go for it but that was a mistake. Again this is advice that I need to take myself. You shouldn't just buy things because they're cheap. So what did I buy? Well I bought this box full these are, I saw it first, necklaces sets, where you get like a rose gold chain necklace and a rose gold like heart earrings as well. 
To be fair, these are really cute, but these are just not the sort of thing that people would buy on Depop. You know, there was maybe a chance that these could have gone well. My Topshop jewellery did really well, but I think this was just not something people were after. I don't think the brand was good enough to sell it either. So I've ended up with a lot of these and now <laughs> I've got to pass these on. I think what I might do with these is sell them in like bundles on vintage and people could buy them for like little like gifts. To be honest, I pro, I mean that would take forever wouldn't it? Maybe I'm better off putting this on Facebook Marketplace and trying to get rid of all of it. I think that's a smarter option. So yeah, I take that back. Hopefully someone will buy it and make some money off it. I'm on to my last two items that you should avoid buying. Number nine is leather jackets. That, I need to be distinctive here, leather jackets that are, I was buying wholesale bales of leather jackets last year and there was a lot of men's jackets that I thought maybe would sell but actually a lot of them were just a bit too oversized or didn't have like a nice shape to them so they've just kind of sat around. I think on the right person this would look really edgy and cool but I don't think that many people would want something this kind of like grungy. Gonna be putting these on vintage, probably £10, £5 just to shift them so we can make room for leather jackets that people really want to buy. Okay, these are the last thing that I wanted to share with you. They're quite sweet actually. They're really little grey handbags, I guess, with like beading all on the strap. Now, when I bought this, I didn't know it was going to be this small. I thought it was going to be like, like you could put this under your shoulder and it would be maybe like double the size of this is what I thought I was buying. So when it arrived, kind of knew that this probably wasn't going to sell because it's just, it's like too small to be a bag. I'm not sure you'd get like an iPhone in there. I had it on the shop for maybe a year and a half. Don't think we've sold one of these. It's just too small, dainty to be something that I think people would buy on Depop. I knew that if these were double the size that they would sell really well. I guess that's what you get if you don't ask what the size is. So yeah, with these, I'll probably car boot them or Facebook Marketplace and then I'll get a little bit of money back for them. So to summarize on this video and give feedback on to myself really on what I've done wrong here. I think the key players are buying things because they're cheap. I'm definitely guilty of that. And another thing is buying items that just aren't cool and trendy. I think sometimes I do get it wrong and that's something I can work on in the future. Hopefully this video has helped a little bit in sharing mistakes that I've made in the hope that you don't make them as, as well or as, as much as I've done. And also if you have been doing Depop for a while, I think it is a good idea to go through and clear out stuff that just doesn't look like it's gonna sell anytime soon. If it's not selling, get rid of it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out these and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, this was a big mistake. <laughs>